we're diving into a paper that tackles a crucial challenge in information retrieval, balancing efficiency and effectiveness when using deep language models. The paper, Colbert, Efficient and Effective Passage Search via Contextualized Late Interaction over BERT, proposes a novel approach called late interaction to address this trade-off. What is the main problem that this paper addresses? The paper focuses on the high computational cost associated with using deep language models like BERT for ranking documents in information retrieval. While BERT significantly improves retrieval accuracy, its computational demands can be prohibitive, especially when dealing with large document collections. This paper aims to find a way to leverage the power of BERT while reducing its computational burden. So how does Colbert achieve this balance between accuracy and efficiency? Colbert introduces a new paradigm called late interaction. Instead of processing the query and document together through BERT, Colbert encodes them separately into contextualized embeddings. The interaction between these embeddings is then performed in a later stage, using a computationally inexpensive and pruning-friendly mechanism. Can you elaborate on this late interaction mechanism? Colbert uses a summation of maximum similarity, maxim operations for late interaction. Essentially, it finds the maximum cosine similarity between each query embedding and all document embeddings. This allows for efficient pruning, as we only need to consider the most similar document embeddings for each query term. That sounds like a clever way to reduce the computational load. What are the specific advantages of this approach? The light interaction approach offers several advantages. First, it allows for pre-computing document representations offline, significantly reducing the computational cost per query. Second, the max sim operation is highly amenable to pruning enabling efficient retrieval from large document collections using vector similarity search indexes. So Colbert can be used for both re-ranking and end-to-end -end retrieval? Yes, Colbert can be used in both scenarios. For re-ranking, it can efficiently score a small set of documents retrieved by a traditional model. For end-to-end -end retrieval, it can directly retrieve the top K results from a large document collection using vector similarity search. That's interesting. Can you explain how Colbert handles end-to-end -end retrieval? Colbert uses a two-stage procedure for end-to-end -end retrieval. First, it performs an approximate search using a vector similarity index, like FACE, to filter down the document collection. Then, it re-ranks the remaining candidates using the late interaction mechanism. This approach allows for efficient retrieval from large collections while maintaining high accuracy. The paper mentions that Colbert uses BERT-based encoders for both queries and documents. Can you describe these encoders? Colbert uses a single BERT model for both query and document encoding. However, it distinguishes between queries and documents by prepending special tokens, Q for queries, and D for documents. The encoders also employ a linear layer to control the embedding dimension and normalization to ensure unit L2 norm for each embedding. The paper also mentions a technique called query augmentation. What is that? Query augmentation involves padding the query with masked tokens. This allows BERT to produce query-based embeddings at the positions corresponding to these masks effectively expanding the query with new terms or re-weighting existing terms based on their importance for matching. So query augmentation helps to improve the quality of the query embeddings. Yes, query augmentation is crucial for Colbert's effectiveness. It allows the model to learn to expand or re-weight query terms based on their relevance to the document collection. The paper presents extensive experimental results on two data sets, MS Marco and Trick Car. What are the key findings? The results show that Colbert significantly outperforms existing BERT based models in terms of efficiency, achieving over 170x speed up and requiring 14,000x fewer FLOPs per query. It also outperforms all non BERT baselines in terms of effectiveness. Furthermore, Colbert demonstrates strong performance in end-to-end -end retrieval, achieving high recall and MRR-10 scores. 
The paper also conducts ablation studies to understand the contributions of different components of Colbert. What are the main takeaways from these studies? The ablation studies highlight the importance of late interaction, the max-sim operation, and query augmentation for Colbert's effectiveness. They show that these components are crucial for achieving high accuracy and efficiency. To wrap up, can you summarize the key contributions of this paper? This paper introduces Colbert, a novel ranking model that employs contextualized late interaction over BERT for efficient and effective passage search. Colbert significantly reduces the computational cost of BERT-based ranking while maintaining high accuracy. It also enables end-to-end -end retrieval from large document collections, demonstrating its potential for practical applications. This was a very insightful discussion on Colbert. Thank you for sharing your expertise.